The Europa League is back tomorrow. Red Star takes on Ferenc Varos from Hungary. Ferenc Varos sits first in the league or in the Europa League group uh, H, I believe we are in, uh, with six points. Red Star has zero. So Ferenc Varos has been, uh, I would say, the surprise of the group, winning both their matches against Trabzonspor and uh, AS Monaco. So Trabzonspor they beat at home, and then Monaco they beat away, which is very, very impressive. Uh, they did lose, however, on the weekend. They're, they still sit first in the Hungarian league. Uh, meanwhile, Red Star is last in the group, having lost both their matches to uh, Monaco and Trabzonspor. We've been in a little bit better form in the league now, where we've um, won four or five, I think, in a row now. So we're starting to kind of look like ourselves a little bit. Players are in better form now. So really looking forward to this match. Uh, first things first, I think that this is a must win for Red Star. I don't think that even a point does them well here. I think that they have to win this match. Uh, and like I said, the form is getting a little bit better, so that that's good for the team heading forward because we were in a little bit of a of a rut, so to say, where you know we just didn't look like ourselves. So uh, hopefully, this is us coming out of that uh, bad form, so to say, and then if we can link uh, a few wins together, and you know, if we can win this one, then you know it's game on in the group. Um, obviously, it depends on what happens in the other matches as well. But with three points, you're looking a lot better than zero after three matches. I'll say that. Uh, in terms of the starting lineup, I think it's going to be... Uh, I think there's one real question mark, and I, that's probably on the right-hand side who plays there, either Bukhari or uh, Mitrovic. I think that Borjan starts in net, and then right back, we're going to have Virakovic. Uh, Milunovic is uh, supposed to play. From what Mil uh, Milojevic said, he should partake in training tonight, and he should be ready to go uh, tomorrow against Penitz Varos. So Milunovic... Dragovic and Rodic and the defensive midfielders. I think it's going to be Kanga and uh, Sanogo. Sanogo has been really good since he's been back in the lineup, especially their European matches. And then you're going to have some recipe or or, or um, whatever you want to call it with Ivanic, uh, Katai, and I think Mitrovic is going to start this match. I can see Bukhari coming off the bench. I think Mitrovic has been fairly good the last two matches so I think he is going to get the start and then up top uh I would presume it's it's Pesic just because Koulibaly has been completely out of form and he just can't seem to get it going at red start um like I said I think Mitrovic has been in good form the last two matches you can argue that he was the player of the match against Matrava which was the cup tie we didn't play very well but I think that he was the best player in that match and um, I think he was really good against Matos Gat as well. He can really use his speed, which is something that Bukhari has as well. Uh, so he can use his speed to beat defenders. And I just I just have a feeling that uh, Milovic is going to go with him and then maybe have Bukhari come on at some point in the second half. I wouldn't be shocked if we play maybe with a false nine with Kate playing up top. And then that way you can side in uh, Bukhari, uh, Mitrovic and Ivanic into the lineup. I think that's a little bit maybe more far-fetched. Um, so I'm gonna go with the first lineup that I said with, with Mitrovic in in, um, in the starting lineup and Bukhari coming off the bench. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I just have a feeling with how much Mitrovic has played in the last two or three matches that he's gonna get the start. Um, set pieces have been a lot better recently. I think it's something that we were really good at two seasons ago. And then last season, we kind of struggled a little bit. And I think, uh, at the start of this season, we struggled with as well. I think we've been really good in the last uh, probably month, month, month and a half uh, with scoring goals and just creating more chances from set pieces, um, which is when we can do that, we're very dangerous. We have Milunovic who can really head the ball in there. And, um, you know, sometimes he's draped with two or three defenders on him. And, and Sonogo in that segment of the, of the game is really good. Uh, Kanga, again, is going to need to be on a different level for us. Uh, connecting with the attacking mids and the forwards. Uh, Sonogo, again, is a little bit more defensive or a lot more defensive than Kanga. Uh, Kanga should look for his chances off the bench as well. Um, but Kanga is, is going to have to play big for us. And, and usually when he plays well for Red Star, Red Star does well in these big matches. And when he doesn't, we simply look like we're ready to implode. So a lot will depend on him. Um, Irakovic, again, at the right back position, he's adjusted to that position very well. Uh, I would like to see him as a uh, center back, which is his position. But, you know, due to the lack of a, of a right back, I think he's going to be in there again. He's been really, really good for us. Just very steady. And 
we're going to need a little bit more from Kata. He scored this past weekend on a beautiful assist from Ben. It's his first goal, I believe, in what was two months. Uh, even he scored two and I think assisted one. So even if he's starting to run in the form after his injury. So if those two guys are clicking, I think Red Star uh, has a chance at really getting a good result. And you couple that in with Mitrovic's speed and his ability to get past defenders. You have Bukhari, who possesses some of the same characteristics as, as Mitrovic. And then Petrich, who just works really hard up top. You know, all those are ingredients that you need uh, to get a win. And if we can do that, I think we can we can get a really good result here. Um, Ferenc Varos is, I believe, right back is still out because yeah, he got a straight red card against um, Trabzonspor in the first match. Uh, very dangerous side, even though they lost in the league. Having six points and beating Monaco in Trabzonspor isn't a little feat. Um, so we're going to really need to be... Uh, familiar with our players, Adama Traore, we're familiar with from last season when he played for Sheriff. Uh, they beat Real Madrid in the Champions League, which is one of the biggest probably offsets in Champions League history. So he's a player that we're going to have to focus in on. And I think the fact that we have a little bit of a scouting report on him from last season, I think does us very well. And yeah, we're just, we need to give it 150% here and get the three points. Anything but three points is, is going to be a failure here and it's going to be very difficult to advance uh, to the next to the knockout stages of the Europa League. Of course, you have the Conference League later on, but not too worried about that right now. Uh, but three points here is a must. I look for the to get a reaction from the team. I think both of the matches against, maybe not so much against Monaco, but against Trabzonspor, we just went to, into a defensive shell way too early in the match and we didn't allow ourselves to play offensive and try to actually score goals in the early phases of the match. I think we realized once the 25th, 30th minute rolled around, like, hey, we can actually try to attack these guys and attempt to score. And, and that's something that we need to realize at the start of this match, that we will have a chance to score goals. And from what I've read, Fenerbahce Vardas isn't that great when uh, the opposition scores first. So that's another reason to kind of score, go ahead, and then put the pressure on them to kind of come back and, and try to equal that. But uh, like I said, Three points here is an absolute must. A draw probably isn't good enough. For me, it's not good enough. And a loss pretty much uh, seals any chances of us advancing uh, to the knockout stages of the Europa League.